Okay guys, this has been my favorite plant this summer. It's a house plant, it's a pothos. I've had it for like three years now. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and I'm hitting the point of fall. It's still quite warm out here, but stuff needs to come in. It's gonna get cold. We can't live out here. And I'm trying to find a spot to put this guy. I looked up the sticky things you stick on the wall that you could put them in. I don't wanna pay, I, wanna, I want something for free. So come with me today to see what I'm gonna create to display this beautiful pothos in my house. All right, so you guys are gonna turn this pile of stuff into a plant stand with magical flip fairy lights like this. Stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Pretty easy. Okay guys, so the first thing I did was get a couple different branches to try out outside. I got them in my backyard. I have a greener one that's from a Seth Fresh tree. And then this older one is I think from a beech tree. The one my uncle and I cut down for my garden in the beginning of the um, summer. So we're going to, I already measured, I cut like a big long length back there off because probably about the height of my stand where I want to put it is four feet. Um, and here's my lovely pothos so we're going to string onto it. And then I have the wood cookie that's going to be the base because I thought about using the sticky things, sticking on my wall. I don't want to stick them on my wall. I didn't want to pay for them. I don't have them. But I have stick, I have the wood cookie, I have the plant. I have other plant connectors I could use to connect the plant to this tree. I also thought about sticking the tree in the plant, but I don't want to like bother the roots. So that's when I came up with the idea of attaching the tree to the wood cookie and using that as the base for the stand. And then I can put that up on the shelf and the tree will be on that, the tree branch will be on that, and then I can vine the lights and the vine onto it. So, First thing I measured. Now I'm gonna put you guys down. Well, I'll bring it with me here. I measured <clears throat> from the base for now. The top of this is crazy and tall, way taller than four feet. But I didn't wanna cut it if I don't have to yet. I don't wanna, I like all the little branchy branches for putting the Twinkie lights on. So, wow, it's huge. It's, <laughs> let me show you how big it is. Like, it's crazy. I, I'm not going to need that much. It's probably going to wind up being probably up to this like junction where I'm going to cut most of it, but I didn't want to cut it yet until I know. So I cut though the base flat. I used my lopper tool, which is sitting right there. Boop. I'll put one on the screen for you too, but I cut that so it could be flat. So it will go onto the wood cookie. And then what am I gonna use to attach it to the wood cookie? Because I wanna attach it while this is big. I want it to be standing up. I don't wanna cut it down yet. I don't wanna, I wanna cut it down as little as possible, like I said. So what I have to attach it to the wood cookie, I, I don't have enough hands to hold it up and show you everything. So let me put this down, move my fairy lights out of the way. Here is the wood cookie. It's very similar to the one I used on my wood prints. Um, I'll link that video I did camping. This one has not been sanded. Um, you could sand and seal this to protect it. I'm not doing that. I, I don't want to spend the time on that today. All right, guys, so here is the plan. And my branch cut down, probably not gonna be using that one. Too small. So I have these little brackets. They're like an L bracket. So it has one hole for the screw here and one hole here. And they were down in the hardware junk area. I'm gonna put this um, slit kind of to the back because if the pot is there, it's gonna be covering it. You won't see it. And I like this front piece better anyway. So the branch is going to go like here. So I wanna screw this in to the wood cookie and then this will screw into the branch. And I'm probably gonna do, I don't know if I should do front to back or front and side, cause the pot will be here resting, holding it. So, and I have more of these, I could do all the way around. Let's see how just one goes for now. 
I'm not doing any pilot holes. Maybe I'll regret this. Let's see. It's like it's going in. Slow, slow, slow. So there's my first supporting L bracket, and that is going, oh my god, this thing is so gigantic, y'all! Alright, so then it's going to go up against it, and let me see, right in here. Oh, I don't know, because I also want to make sure this branch is turned how I want it. feet is here. The same, I want to like put this out. Like I didn't make that much taller. This one might be pushing it. I'm gonna have to cut that tip part off, but I think that's good. All right, so my next plan is I think I'm going to put the pot on there just to see where it rests, and then I'm gonna string the lights. I'm gonna get these other branches out of the way. Here we go. He's gotta go outside. Alright, let's see here. This is kinda crazy, but it's working out. So, here is my plant. Leaves on there. 
I need to put a tray under this because this doesn't have a... That's going to look cute and then just vine them up. But I think I'm going to do the lights first and let me get my tray and see how much that raises it. So the next thing I'm going to do is give this guy a wrap with the lights. I feel like I want to start the top. I don't know. I don't know which way is better, but as you can see outside, I didn't even use them all. There's a lot of them here. I thoroughly the tippy top here, which you can see. broke the tip of that branch. Okay, so I got these at the Dollar Tree, and these ones came on an orchid. I might use them if I need them, but these ones from the Dollar Tree, they kind of just clip and hold it on. So I'm hoping they'll help me hold the plant onto these branches. I tried to use these in my garden, and they're kind of flimsy, and they don't work well, but I think they're going to work perfect for this. So gently. Getting this tangle untangled. One of these I was going to propagate. It has a lot of missing leaves. See, this one looks kind of short. Like I'm going to cut it here. As you can see, it's missing leaves all here. So I'm going to chop and prop this and get my choppers. I'm chop it at the end of the that leaf. This one, since it's shorter, I'm kind of going to make it go on this shorter branch. Maybe. So I kind of just twisted that around, and then I'm going to take one of these little clips, or the bigger one. Take one of the little ones first. Actually, I think bigger. And just clip it to there. Maybe clip it to both of those. Okay, so that's one done. Let's see. And then this piece that I chopped, I'm gonna put in water here in a minute. But what is another one that's kind of laying on top? He's a pretty hardy long one. Let me stand up. Got some more of a view. So a couple times here. So it's coming in this direction. So I have these little extras and I'm not quite sure, I might just try and point them in the direction of going up. This is the loop of one of the ones I already put up. Yeah, so we might just kind of take this one, which I think is just a smaller one, and I'm going to fold it somehow up in there. I'll come back after I do it. I can't hold this, hold you guys and do it. Hold on. I'm gonna go try and put it in its spot 
and uh, see how it does. Carrying it there is going to be interesting. So I hope you enjoyed my little DIY um, pothos support project. Um, it was a fun way to bring the nature indoors to take care of that plant, which I wasn't sure where I was going to put it. I don't know if I didn't like it or not, if it'll stay where I put it. Um, but that was a lot of work streaking those lights and the plant. So it's going to stay there for a little while. I think it'll look really cute at night when it's dark. Um, and share with me if you have anything you've done with your pothos that's gotten super viney and crazy especially if you have to bring it inside if you like putting it outside in the summer like me because it really grows the best there or if you just keep it inside all the time either way i'd love to see it 